WGL Pro Qualifier. This is, of course, a lot of uh, for a lot of points and the qualification for the World Championship. That is the WGL Summer Edition. And we have a crazy match to our hands. That is Infi versus Foggy. And apparently everything goes well. So without further ado, let's jump into it. You will see that... Classic icons are back. Woohoo! Okay, that took us some time. But... It's fixed now. If you see any bugs, please let us know. We have an Archmage for Infi. We start on Northern Isles. He went for a fast expansion and Foggy, in typical Foggy fashion, has a Warden to his hands. With the Wand of Mana stealing, can be decent. I expect Boots and Staff, but he's kind of short on resources, so it's only a Staff, no Boots. With a Shadow Strike build, Walk Elemental Archmage, of course, for Infi, who has a Claws of Attack and the uh, Ring of Region, which is pretty nice for a start. I heard we can't play Twisted Meadows. But I'm not too sure if that's true or not. So Wet of Matter Ceiling being used again. We have Shadow Strike level 1, of course. And Foggy is just chasing. Which is maybe not the best thing to do. You want to prevent the Archmage level 3, of course. But on the other side, Infi's Expo is mining. Foggy is Huntress Hall a little bit later than the tech. Oh, no, it's actually working out quite well. Sound? Sound is not good. I have to tap now. Oh, finally level 3. Good uh, creeping by Foggy. I have to tap now. So sorry. Let me know if it's better. Or if I have to boost it a little uh, more. Am I too quiet as well? The more feedback, the better. Uh, I will try to adjust it as good as it gets. So, tier 2 tech on the way very early, Blacksmith. Did not expect that, really. Fan of Knives is the second skill by Foggy on level 2, so no blink. In-game still not loud enough. All good? Better? Good too? Alright, guys. Still too quiet. Let's see how loud it is when there's a fight or something. So, Infi and Foggy have quite a rich history together. Very early Tinker second as well. Quite a lot uh, of history for a long, 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 long time. Nice rockets. Nice fan. Infi was Foggy's nemesis. Foggy was always able to defeat the Chimikos, the Sox, even the THs of the world. But Infi had something to his play that Foggy couldn't beat, even though he played a, a wonderful Warden. But that curse is lifted. Infi should still be the superior player, but we haven't seen him in a while. But so far, I would say his early game is pretty good. Um, no damage to the Echo, no damage to the expansion at all, despite this being a Warden. And Foggy's progress with that early Tinker is slowed down for sure. He has to share experience now between Tinker and Warden. But maybe the little stun on the rockets help him to defend... Oh, nice. To defend against especially Infi's playstyle a lot. Because if you have the rockets earlier, you can stop... You have the double AoE. And Infi is, of course, heavy on the footman. Always was. And that harass. Alchemist now arrives on tier 2. And with that, a little bit of healing against that double AoE by Foggy. But what's Infi's plan on tier 2? We see rifles, of co course, workshop and sanctum. Infi again with his very own style. The warden is surrounded. This could be a TP. Five seconds for the next fan of knives, but this is definitely not enough. We oh, we have a staff. Alrighty, all good. No TP. Sorry about that. In-game sound is still low. Oh, I lowered it. Yes. A player's forces are under attack. Because of the cast. Hold on. What? What? The game is gone. Guys! Ah. There we go. Sorry. So we have the next fight. The next rockets. The next fan of knives. Oh, but the heal scroll out clutch! So 
many footmen saved, and the next creep goes to Infi as well. Limited mana on Foggy. He needs to get damage done. There was one heal spell used already, but we still have heal spray. And I'm not sure, without mana, what can he do? He has one more fan. Needs it now, gets the kill, but it's still not level 4. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Okay, if... if oh, ah! One dryad falling. In case you have any more feedback, let me know. But so far, Infi... Pretty flawless, I'd say. Now getting creep jack, but he gets the item. He gets the Sobi mask, seals the ring of protection, got the invul, and before he stole the heal scroll as well. This is a phenomenal play by Infi. His unit comp is quite interesting. With one sanctum and very early workshop. Foggy with a late tier 3 though. Was heavy on the dryads. 3 into tech. But at least Foggy is not giving up the marketplace. Big mana in here. Could go for it down the road. But without an expansion, with that race to tier 3, it's quite hard for him to do it. Book of the Dead helps him with creeping. Level 2 Tinker. Finally level 4 one. So that double level up. Ooh, is he in range? I don't... Is it enough? Should be enough. Boom. Alright. Foggy is not deciding to tech... Uh, to skill yet on the Tinker. Interesting. So, how heavy on bears? How many mountain giants? What's the progress on Infi? We have a very early flying machine, and I think against Foggy, that's a real cool thing to have, because ze uh, Zeppelin drops are definitely a thing. And for scouting, of course. It's great. Double claw for Infi. Nice. And this... Uh, holy smokes, this inventory for the alchemist. Boo oh, of course! Jesus! Sobi, Pendant, Greater Mana, and Brilliant Zora, level 2 even. Very early Brilliance 2. Oh, that's pretty sick. I mean, how do you want to out-damage that? It's non-stop heal spray. Thank you, Madfrog, for the host. Legend hosts, best hosts. Super glad to see you back to streaming and lettering. So Infi's upgrade so far 0-0, zero, zero, but maybe you don't need that if you have these early mortar teams. Three mortar teams already. For this stage of the game, for just tier 2, for 11 minutes in, that's a huge mass of mortar teams. Everything for Foggy is super hard. And he's still not really close to 4. He's still holding on to the skill. He's just not skilling on the Tinker. A player's Is he thinking about Pocket Factory for building damage? I mean, in a straight up fight, rockets will always be better. Uh, it's just good for kicking buildings. Okay, rockets too now. At least that. One dried in the base. No mountain giant transition yet. He's kind of short on lumber. And Warden and Tinker, they could never unfold their base arrest game. This is what makes the Warden so strong. Super fast splits by Infi, but this is an invitation for multi kill. One. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe that could have been handled better. Ah, the rockets. Okay. It's a slaughter now. <laughs> it looked like Infi is doing a good job. He moved the peasants away out of the peasant line super quickly. And now we have the mountain giant transition. That was damage done. But these three mortar teams, they're definitely a threat now. Tinker, a little far forward, catching quite some hits. Foggy supply stack now. But the Mountain Giant transition is done. He has uh, Hardened Skin already. That's the most important one. Drains a lot of mana, but of course not of the Alchemist because he has all the mana items in the world. Warden is kind of low, still not level 5. Heal Spray is therefore enough to deal with the Shadow Strike. 
And the bears are not falling. There's no chance. Has to wait for the MGs to really dive into this. Next pen of knife needs to be great, but the heal spray is already there. Tinker in trouble. Infi is playing this so well. I mean, the game is not lost in this fight. The game was probably lost earlier. Hero's super low. Hero's dry. Moonwell's gone. And Foggy taps out. I have rarely seen a human keeping Foggy away from his bases for so long. There was exactly one Echo Harass. One. We've seen so many games by Foggy vs. Hawk, by Foggy vs. Blade, by Foggy vs. everyone else. The Warden is everywhere. But not here. Not if it's Infi. Keeping him busy in the middle of the map, preventing level 4 and 5. Damn great play. Of course the Alchemist items help, but I don't think they change the outcome of the game. Infi's map control, Infi's dominance in the mid. That was just super sick. God damn. Good to see good to see Infi in shape. Not sure how good Foggy is at the moment. I haven't seen any games in the past four days. And also we didn't uh cast the ESL Cup, so it's always kind of hard to judge. Thank you, Thrip What the second 40 month resub. End of the month equals sub for Back to Warcraft. Thank you very much, you lovely, lovely person. Pat fixed the booster. That's pretty sick. First he fixes ladder, now he fixes the booster. And that's in his time off. <laughs> Pat is such a gem. And I'm really, really proud of you guys. Um, since a lot of people were donating yesterday after... Um, I tweeted about it. That he might need your help. Or it's worth it to support him. And almost $500 came together in just one day for the work he does. I was really proud of that. And he was super happy about it as well. That was very lovely. Uh, so Pat did a great job and the community did, did a great job. And that wiped away some of the anger that I had towards the... Let's not call it Pat. To the hot fixes. Thank you, Hiasis, for the 21-month resub. I see some praise for Ankes in chat. Oh my god, I'm so red. Why am I so freaking red? I look like shit. Okay, this will, of course, fuck a little with the green screen. That's better. Mm hmm. hmm. <laughs> That's not so great. Getting there? Again there. So our game is up. Neo becomes one with the Matrix. Yeah, thank you, Kirby. Nice sub streak here, guys. And black screen. Ah. We go into map number two. Infi with the lead could kick down Foggy to the lower bracket relatively quickly. To be honest, that first game, that didn't last too long. So Foggy has to come back. And this is the map to come back on. It's Terranus Stand. It's the Warden map. 
We see a Mountain King here. Is there a Warden pick? Yes, there is. Interesting, right? How almost nobody is going Players Demon Hunter against it to counter the Mountain King. Warden is just so good that it's worth it to not go for the hard counter of the first hero of your opponent. Thank you, Shurax, for the 200 bits! No Shadow Priest yet. Easy creep for Froggy. No deny. That's always worth uh, watching at. Scroll of the Beast and Slippers. Okay. Second engine of four here. And I like that. We've seen it here. We've seen it here. We've seen it here. But this position should be relatively new. Invul Mantle Slippers. And he goes to the middle. Okay, what's the creep route then? Footman keeps tabs. I like that by Infi. No tech yet. So, does he clean the entire middle? He has quite some time. The problem with this creep route is... How and when to get the staff. But maybe you don't get the staff, but creep the camp and then harass? Huh. That's interesting. He loses some time in the middle. Like, this is not ultra efficient. Town is under siege. So, Infi, will he see it? <sighs> it's nighttime. Okay. He might expect it. It's. A okay, the engine of war moved over. I thought for a second he. Yeah, but the third one. Expo coming for Infi. I thought for a second he messed up the resources, but no. So Foggy with the Berserker now. Second consumable. Greater mana. That's exactly what he wanted, but on what cost? No mana at the moment. Steal. And that prevents level 3. Oh, how big the Stormbolt was. Infi is just so good. Shadow Melt now. There was a bash. Quite some damage. And now moving away. But the vision he has... Uh, just checking things out. Engine of War is still up, but it's not level 3. And that's a big deal. Thank you, kitty man, for the sub. So, tier 2 tech now. Early Hunter Soul. Engine of War still there. The Warden needs to harass now, but it's only level 3. Oh, okay, got level 3 now. From the little wizards. Smart. Smart. Foggy pretty smart. So, fan of knives too. He's blocking him from the shop, costing a couple of more seconds. And again, this is all AoE damage, not at the expansion. And he has to staff out. Attack. This is pretty much exactly the Northern Isles play. Oh no! Has to be a TP. This was the useless harass. Infi just knows exactly what's up. And how to counter things. Engine of War moves back. This one is still up. Foggy has to accelerate super hard now. Thank you, Thompson and Chenjini for your subs. Claws, decent, but the TP is gone. Mountain King is still a threat. He has boots. No staff from him. This game plan by Foggy is just not working is out at all. And he finds him again. A town is under siege. This is the one of the easiest human expansions I've seen in a long time. So again, double lore, probably into dryad. Do you need so many dryads if you don't face an archmage? I don't think so. I think a fast attack would be better. Especially since you want the base raise. And drops and all. <laughs> so much damage. If there's a bash, one is just dead. LOL! Yep. That's how you lose a game to... Not only RNG, but you to RNG. It's an app!
absolute slaughter. It's nothing but a slaughter. Foggy is down to 28 supply. And that's what you get for not skilling Blink. But the Shadow Strike fan combo. I really don't understand the Shadow Strike. I mean, it's decent early, especially against an Archmage to pressure or to pick up some footmen. And maybe he feels that it's necessary against Infi. But it's just so dangerous. Stonebolt again. Oh, force into a TP. Creeps are quite dangerous. Well, that's some easy experience for Foggy now, but what's left? Still no tier 3 tech. No counter expansion. No level 4. He has nothing. Nothing that he wants at this stage, or at least at the 10 minute mark. And so much value on the region scroll. Infi doesn't even need more than one tower. The Sim City isn't the greatest. We have a Zeppelin now, alright. Feels the need to jump into this with Dryads to have more damage because the level, like, no high level spells really there. And yeah, there's a lack of anti-air. So he can play this over and over. But <laughs> Tier 3, Griffin Aviary and a Blood Mage. All right. Only now Tier 3. It's an 8 minute 45 tech. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, the deny didn't help. <coughs> Earlier at the creep camp. This warden must be higher at this point. There's no doubt. Thank you, Nikki Lauda, for the two month reset. Much love! How much will you rage in creep jack today? Not much. I raged a lot on Twitter. So that's all out of the system. And of course, like, how long did he try to get that expo up? Five seconds? It's just such a sign of dominance of Infi that he's able to creep this. This should never be allowed. Foggy feels the need to creep more. I think that's right. If there's a way to turn this around, it's level 6 warden. But even then, it's really rough. No TP, no bears, Mountain King in the base. Forcing a rejuvenation. Hammers everywhere. Foggy is just not ready. Infi is like a parkour artist, jumping from top to bottom to left to right and getting kills everywhere and Foggy, he doesn't even know where to look at. Okay, full mana now, trying to go for the blood mage, it's just, just a slaughter. For five minutes straight, this is a slaughter. It's not getting better. We get griffins, we get a paladin, we get knights. <laughs> Maybe knights. Oh, please, someone write in Discord. Druid of the Claw Master Training icon. Doesn't work. A player's force are under attack. Bear. Boom! Another storm ball. Probably another kill. At least another redo. Fascinating how Infi knew exactly twice in a row, knew exactly what to do. 
Knew exactly how to counter. Knew exactly where Foggy was moving. Great scouting in the early and just adapting really, really well to Foggy's movement. And Foggy's mistakes to go set full damage, Shadow Strike, Fan, and again. <laughs> okay, this time he has his Apple. So now I'm really curious how Infi fares in the winner bracket final. Because there's no doubt in my mind that he advances to the winner bracket final. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> okay, first Griffin is out. Infi is having so much fun. He can just expand again. Yeah, Warden's maybe getting some footman kills. But what's the what's what's the anti here? It's Dryads. So much mana used on Riju. Foggy is trying to stall some time, but Infi is just expanding again. And except Dryads, there's no anti air possible. He doesn't have a Tinker for rockets. He doesn't have an Ancient of Wind for Hippogriffs. How many storm bolts have you seen this game, by the way? <laughs> it's like 35. So the bears are melting against storm bolt and griffin damage. And the warden is not getting close to six. And even if he's getting six, then it's knights and griffins. How many corpses will you create against knights and griffins? Sad to see this so one-sided. I thought this would be way more competitive, to be honest. Foggy, maybe... Not in the greatest shape. Maybe it's ping again. This is Netties. This is high ping. Uh, especially with the Warden, you need low ping. But he was just outplayed. There was no balance. That was not item luck per se responsible. That was just Infi being the better player. And that was super impressive. With two interesting army compositions. First game, early mortars, sniping the moon well super quick. Second game, when you expect a high level warden, go knights and griffins. He had all the time in the world. Obviously, the game was over at the point where I went to tier three. But Infi, man, what a player. Shad! Thank you very much for the 20 euro donation. Thanks to, to recommend me to WC3L. Happy for the logo design. Really appreciate it. Much love. So you guys came to terms? Nice. This is my ref share. I like. <laughs> Great to see that two awesome people are coming together and work together. Thank you, Will Q, for the 18-month resub. Go in feet. Well, that worked well. So I'm trying to get some scores and probably some games. We will stick as much as we can to group B. As we have also Sock and 120 playing in this group. Maybe we're gonna catch map two. Yeah, they just started, so we're gonna catch that as well. 